Welcome to the Positive Correlation video series on saltwater fish tank chemistry. I'm Froz, and today we'll be talking about ammonia, nitrite, nitrate, and the biological filter of your fish tank. Um, first off, we'll talk about um, ammonia. Ammonia is a natural byproduct of animal pr processes. Humans release ammonia in the form of urea in urine. Fish do not convert ammonia to urea. They release ammonia in its pure form into water when they excrete. However, ammonia is extremely toxic to fish. This is why it's important to test for ammonia. You want ammonia levels to be around zero, hopefully. But if they're not, there are ways to combat that. So first, we'll add our first bottle. We're adding eight drops. Remember, oh, remember to always have proper attire, goggles, gloves, uh, lab coats and whatnot for safety purposes. When you administer the test solution, be sure that your testing bottle is completely vertical and then add the appropriate number of drops. For this case, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we'll add eight drops of the second bottle. Completely vertical. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. As always, follow the directions on your individual test kits to the letter for proper results. Then we shake. Then we compare this to our color card. That looks to be perhaps a little over zero. Now, to combat very high levels of ammonia, it's recommended that you administer a partial water change and or ammonia locking chemicals. However, ammonia levels will naturally decrease over time due to the biological filter. What happens is bacteria that exist in a healthy fish tank naturally convert ammonia to the ion nitrite, and then other bacteria can naturally convert nitrite into the ion nitrate. So over time, as long as there are not significantly high levels of ammonia in your tank, ammonia levels will go down as it's converted into nitrite and then nitrate. Nitrite is also toxic to fish and to coral, so you want to test that there are no high levels of nitrite in your tank. For our test kit, we simply have to add five drops of our solution to our vial. Completely vertical, one, two, three, four, five. Then cap and shake. This solution requires you to wait five, or to wait one minute after you shake for proper test results. So we'll look at that soon. About one minute has passed since we've done our nitrite test. So now we'll compare it to our color card. And if we look, it looks to be about zero parts per million, which is exactly where we want to be. If nitrite levels are high, we also recommend partial water changes, but nitrite also will go down as nitrate levels increase. The nitrate test for our test kit is very similar to the ammonia test, so I will demonstrate again. If nitrate levels are high, it may not kill fish, but it will cause an increase in fish disease. It will also potentially lead to algal blooms. If algal blooms occur, this could damage or even kill certain coral species. To reduce nitrate, again, partial water, partial water changes are recommended. Optimal levels of ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate are all around zero. But again, rely on the biological filter, partial water changes, and any outside chemicals to reduce any of those. And that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching and check out our website.